and put it right there. <laughs> okay. Uh, what exactly are you doing, turret? Yeah, it looks like it's trying to shoot that one there. Get him, turret, get him! Kick his ass! It's like stuck in the corner now. Uh, we got him. Okay, cool. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 18, Build 155 Experimental. I am an old guy gaming, and we're going back to church. Yes, we are. So, um, uh, this is going to be more or less a repeat of the episode that we did, like, I don't know, two episodes ago. But, uh, again, it's just definitely worth doing, because up in that steeple is the the uh, end loot. And we have to fight a couple of buzzards to get up there, and potentially some other zombies. And then down below here... We've got a whole bunch of schematics and some coffins and stuff that we can uh, loot and uh, get some fat stuff, fat loot. So hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And let's go ahead and get rolling here. Okay, so basically, if you guys didn't see the last time I went to church and you're not familiar with this um, POI, it's really kind of two POIs in one. There's the upper section, you know, the sanctuary and the steeple. Um, and then there's the lower section, kind of like the basement or catacombs or whatever you want to call it. And I don't know of any other way to get from one to the other other than through this passage. So let's go ahead and do the upper portion first. <clears throat> and I think what we're going to do this time around is we're going to go ahead and probably just nerd pull up to do that. Because there's not really a whole lot inside the actual sanctuary itself that I recall that's, um, you know, that's, that's, uh, you know, worth looting. So we should have a buzzard. Yeah, we have two buzzards up there. No, we have three buzzards up there. Okay, so we have to deal with those guys. Um, yeah, because this goes down into here. And there should be some Zeke's down in the sanctuary. Let's just take a quick peek. Yeah, we got somebody's attention already. Okay, let's get this blocked off really quick. See, there's a bunch of zombies down there, including the biker, which I don't want to mess with. Now, there might be uh, stuff under the uh, under the pulpit. I'm not really sure. Oh, well, so much for not wanting to mess with a biker, huh? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of zombies. All right, well, you know what? XP for us, right? We, um, we need to, uh, we need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> that's what we need to do. That's, that's getting too hot. Um, okay, I don't think they can come up this way, but it's possible that they could. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, so let's forget about those dudes and let's head on out here. Now we are going to have to take on, looks like, three vultures. And I don't have any... Oh, darn it, I don't have any... Um, Who's them was it? Honey or anything with me in case we get infected, which isn't good. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this down and ha have it help us out with those damn vultures. Uh... uh where can we put it? We we'll put it right there. <laughs> okay. Uh, what exactly are you doing, turret? It's like trying to shoot at him.
You guys aren't coming up here, are you? Okay, no. Yeah, it looks like it's trying to shoot that one there. Get him, turret, get him. Kick his ass. It's like stuck in the corner now. Uh, we got him. Okay, cool. Yeah, so these guys don't seem to be coming up the ladder and trying to break down the turret there. So I think we're okay with them. Let's come on up this way. We don't want to fall down there, though. No siree, Bob. Okay. I suppose we might as well harvest this vulture here. It's all good stuff. Bones, rotten meat, and feathers. All things that we could use. Okay, so then we just need to come over here and go up to the steeple. We don't want to fall down through here, though, so... We are going to put some frames in to make sure that doesn't happen. And voila! This is the jackpot. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Uh, bandolier mod. Nice. We learned, we actually learned the recipe for that, but now we have the actual mod itself. That's great, because what that's going to do is that's going to, we're going to scrap this. That's going to give us more, um, might as well scrap this too. What's that sell for? 26? Yeah, we don't need that. Um, and we're going to scrap this. What that's going to do is that's going to allow us to, um, have more ammo. Or carry more ammo. So, I think, I'm not sure, does this go into the chest? Yes, it does. Re reload, oh no, this is fast reload. Oh, okay, that's fine too. I'll take faster reload. I'll take faster reload. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, so let's break into the chest and then I'm going to have, I don't have any lockpicks on me, so this is like a 10,000 hit point thingamadoodle, so I'm going to have to bust that off camera. See what the shotgun messiah crate's got. Shotgun parts, baseball pat parts, crossbow parts. Okay, we need those uh, to make a nicer bow and a high, next tier hunting knife. Very nice. Let's repair that. How many repair kits? We got seven. Okay. And we will then scrap this one. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh, another shotgun messiah crate. Let's check it out. Leather gloves. We are already wearing iron gloves. Um, so I think I'm just going to scrap those. Actually, you know what, though? Hmm. I'm not sure if I have a backup set of leather gloves, so I might hang on to those. I might actually hang on to those. Uh, 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 what else did we get out of that? I can't remember now. Hmm. Okay. Let's open the shamway crate. Okay, we'll take all that. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm going to bust this sucker open. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh, insulated liner mod, impact bracing mod, structural brace mod. Okay. Not too bad of stuff. Uh, we don't need the leather chest armor, so we're going to scrap that. We don't need the iron gloves, so we're... Well, actually, how much are those worth? 20? Yeah, nah. Let's just scrap those. This reduces fall damage, so let's take a look and see. Uh, we should have room for another mod on here, so let's pop that on there. Uh, does it tell us by how much, though? I don't think it... I don't know. Hmm, not sure. 
Okay, and the insulated liner mod. That we're probably going to hang on to. Does that go? That probably goes into something like this, right? But don't these only have like one mod slot? Let's look. Yeah, that only has one mod slot. So, yeah. And we already have, um, I think our chest piece is fully modded out. What about this shirt? Well, that's got a pocket. I don't want to, I need to get a nicer shirt. My goodness. I'm still wearing the damn grass shirt. Um, yeah. Okay. So we're going to, we'll just hang on to this in case we, you know, go off into the snow again at some point. We can, you know, put it on it then. Okay. So a structural brace mod is going to be useful. But the thing is, is everything that we have. Uh, you know, we're, n we're not using this for melee. So it would make more sense to put the structural brace on here because then our axe durability will last longer. So let's, uh, we'll, and we'll, but we'll keep that though. We'll hang on to that for, you know, future use. Okay. I think we're good. I think we are good to go. All right. We don't want to go down that way. So now what we're going to do, just like before, is we're going to hit the, the basement next. So let's do that. Is there something over on this side? Oh yeah, there is. There's a suitcase with nothing in it. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Okay, so let's carefully go across the beam. Okay, looks like our buddies are still around. So let's um head down this way. so we don't take it downstairs with us. Those guys outside? Is that the zombie... Zombies from the inside, or is that just a guy that's been wandering around out here? I mean, I didn't hear him break that front entrance open. So, let's just go see if they actually did or not. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, so this guy's probably just someone who's wandering around out here. What do I have on me? I'd like to make a few more spikes. So we can make a total of 20. Let's make 15. I'm going to keep a little bit of wood with me. All right, so let's just let those guys wander around in there, and we're going to go down below here. Hopefully they won't... Uh, excuse me. Give us trouble. Okay, so just like before, we've got um, a collapsing floor here, so let's get rid of that. All right, so those Zeeks didn't wake up. Those those guys are making me a little nervous, so hmm, how do we want to handle that? Let's close this door. And I think what we'll do is let's set our turret down. To kind of guard that door for us. Okay. <clears throat> now 
what we're going to do is we're going to we probably have a better chance of one-shotting him or not boy it sounds like that got them got those guys' attention up there hmm Okay, so let's do our little bridge of risky thing here that we did before. Now those guys, they actually came up here and we kind of killed them on our spikes. Let's, let's close that door, but if we hear our turret go off, what we're going to do is we're going to retreat to this little section and pull up these <clears throat> wood frames. So the turret's going to kind of be a warning, or a little early warning system for us. Okay, so we need to try and cheese some of these guys. Uh oh, we got a spider. That's not good. Big mom is coming through. And spider. Oh shit. Reload quick. Oh shit. Okay, these guys are coming through. <laughs> oh man, this is not good. Okay. Alright, we should be fine. We should be fine. Um, so they're gonna try and come through there. So let's put a spike there. Can we actually open that door? All right, come on through, dummies. The turret can't quite get to him from there. That's a biker, too. Okay, you know what? Guess what we have. Forgot about this. Catch him on fire? Yep, we did. All right, that'll soften him up for us at least. Oh, it killed him. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome possum. Okay, so have we are we are we in the clear in this room? Not sure what the answer to that is. Put our little bridge back in place here. Uh, I think I'm just going to block that off with frames for now. Uh, let's take you with us. I don't. I don't want to. I mean, we. If we need to escape quickly, I don't want to block our escape route. Let's fill these in, too, just so we don't accidentally fall in the corner there. I think we've probably killed everything that's down on this first floor, though. I hope we have. We're going to find out here in a moment, aren't we?
Okay, that was profitable. Fun and profitable. Love the church, man. This is an awesome POI. We still got someone that needs killing somewhere. Not sure where he is, but that's okay. We're out of here. All right, guys. Well, we're basically going to do the same thing as last time. I'm going to end the episode, and then I got a bunch of crap to haul back to the house. Uh, but that was a good run. That was a really good run. Did we get a point, too? We did. Awesome. All right, so I think I'm going to put this point into... Hmm, what do we do? What do we want to put this into? We could do another From the Shadows. That'll give us 39% effectiveness. And faster sneak movement. Noises are muffled by 30%. So that's an option. Uh, we could do another thing in, in archery. This will allow us to craft level 4 bows. Deal 30% more damage. 30% faster aim draw and reload with bows. I wonder if the reload would also apply to crossbows too. We already took the extra, the next, the third point in Gunslinger. Or, I mean, yeah, Gunslinger. Run and gun would not be a bad idea. It really wouldn't. And do we, I don't think we want to do light armor. Hidden Strike. We should maybe th be thinking about this. Because this is going to give us more sneak attack damage. Deep cuts. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. Uh, we want to start looking at a couple other things, though, too. I mean, we could certainly use another point in Cardio. Problem with this, though, is then we have to put points into Fortitude, which, hmm, I mean, we would get heavy armor, we'd get living off the land, we would get machine gunner for later on if we want to start using the AK and the M60. We could if we wanted to uh, spec into Brawler, so that, and, you know, Iron Gut, there's a little, actually a lot of good stuff in the Fortitude tree, there certainly is. What do we have here? What's Sexy T do again? Uh, reduces melee and tool stamina use by 5% and power attacks by 10. Mm. <clears throat> I'm not really doing a, a minor, I mean, sorry, a melee build in this episode, so I don't know. I mean, minor 69 or mother load would certainly be good too. Perception. I thought about lock picking. If we take the first level in this, we can make our own lock picks. What's dead I do? Rifles. That's more like for hunting rifles. Uh, and then what does perception in general do? Uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, rifles, explosives, and spears. Yeah, see, we're not really doing that stuff. <clears throat> I, I was reading on Reddit, some people were talking about Lucky Looter, and they're saying that it's really not worth putting points into because once your game stages get higher, your loot, you know, your the quality of your loot increases with it to the point where, you know, in the end game, these are essentially wasted points. So... You know, I'm really hesitant for that reason uh, to do that. We also have the infiltrator, which is armor piercing. Uh, no, I'm sorry, the penetrator, armor piercing. But I don't know if that, I don't know how how applicable that is to single player. Uh, that I would think that would be more of a, a, a PvP thing too. So, yeah, I'm just not really sure. Now, we can always put a couple points in intellect and just bite the bullet. You know, get Grease Monkey so we can make our bike. Because I am tired of running all over the place. But the thing is, man, as soon as I, <laughs> as soon as I do that, we're going to freaking, like, uh, find the book for it. I just know it. I just know it. So, I don't know. And the intellect by itself. Uh, well, you know what? Actually, intellect would help our junk turret, wouldn't it? It actually would help our junk turret. So, that's not, you know, that's not a bad thing to do. Uh, physician is for bandages, right? 10% heal over 20 gain, da, 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 first eight bandages. Yeah, see, that wouldn't be bad to, you know, to do either. But, oh, you know what, though? I, I actually read a book to make bandages, so I can already make them. Uh -huh. Advanced engineering, what's this do? This gives us electric fences and blade traps, which is always good. Uh, chainsaws and augers, and, uh... Learn to craft SMG auto turrets. Yeah, see, there's there, there's still some pretty good stuff in this tree, too. So, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I Part of me wants to just continue pumping out agility, because that's kind of our main focus in this build. 
So if we just take the next point in agility itself, uh, your movement is now very nimble and deal 250 headshot and have a 30% chance to dismember with bows, sand guns, and knives. Yeah, I, you know what, guys? I think, I think I'm going to stick to the agility tree because, you know, we are eventually going to find the schematic for the bicycle or the mini bike or the motorcycle. Uh, or if we don't, you know, we'll eventually make enough money to outright buy one from the trader. So I think I'm going to stick with the agility tree. And so we're going to keep putting points. You know, we should probably think about putting some points into hidden strike. That's not going to be a bad idea. But we should probably keep focusing on archery because we're still using the crossbow for, you know, uh, for uh, initial strikes. From the shadows, you know, I don't know that we need this so much now because we're not really at the point anymore in the game where you know we could be killed at any moment as we just kind of proved to go through the church and kick the shit out of everything so i mean this is still useful of course but i don't know that that's a real important one now so i think i'm going to put this point into archery let's get that up another point and we and now no let's put it into hidden strike that's what we're gonna do okay hidden strike it is um so that way we can do more you know uh, preemptive strike damage 50 percent more Okay, I'm sorry that took a long time for me to kind of talk through that, but I want you guys to kind of know, you know, what I'm thinking in terms of the build and, and that sort of thing. So it's kind of important from that standpoint. All right, guys, we've went way over time. This is probably going to be a long episode because I don't know how much of it I'm going to actually edit out. Uh, I'll try and shorten it up a little bit in editing, but uh, a lot of good, important things happened in this episode, and it was a lot of fun, and we got some good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, leave a comment and share out the video. Those things do help the channel. I do appreciate it. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.